Welcome no code. So welcome to no code. Today I will show you like very quick demo of our one of our projects, code vacations. So it is just a tool, perfect tool that I'm using all the time for my work because I have a lot of MVP projects for which I should develop a lot of like API, uh, backend stuff. So uh, per previous time I spent a lot of time for uh, coding from scratch or I just copy paste my previous code from previous projects as usual developers are doing. I hope so, that it's not only my case. And after we developed uh, the code vacations, so it is like a tool where you can generate your backend fully. Uh, so pff, let's just, let's just view. Uh, it is like website of this tool code vacations uh, and here we have three options framework database and authorization so framework it's just frameworks that you are using you just select here yeah at this moment it's only express js but it will be more uh, database you can select so let's select mongodb authorization what is authorization it is uh, Let's check JWT. So if you checking this JWT, uh, it shows you that it this tool will add the users table uh, to your database, which will be generated automatically. And you will have like registration part, the login part, middleware with uh, verification of the token. And it's cool. So let's check it. Now what we need to do, we, we as usual, we are doing as backend developers, we need to add some tables. So let's add, okay, we already have users. So let's create some, I don't know, like uh, online uh, shop. So for online shop where we have already users, users table, we can add the goods table or products. Products. Uh, let's, okay, product can have the title, uh, the price and let's say description maybe images or image okay done so click save okay we have the users table and products table so let's now just click generate and wait like a few minutes okay not minutes but seconds and uh, you will receive the result that you will download code okay so let's check okay we have code zip file so we need to unzip it let's do it okay now let's check what we have in our code folder so the generated code is next so we have our main index file where we have our express app with the dot env for uh, getting the env variables uh, we have some database file, which is our connector to Mongoose because we selected MongoDB. Uh, we have the uh, compression, course, express, if sure express, and for this express we are using uh, compression and course. Um, and also we are using body parser, so it's already automatically generated, you don't need to add it again and again. And we have our API router. So let's just go to router. Router is here. You can check in the project structure. We have index, main index. So here we have all like roles that we have in a project. It's products and authorization. So let's check, for example, products. Here in this file, into the products folder, we have all the roles that's related to products. Now we can check. Let's check just simple one create product so uh -huh, okay we have the uh, product data that, that is coming into the body request after we putting this data to our database functions that is storing in database already this info so okay it's automatically generated the schema also so we have models folder with the structure for each table Okay, for authorization, what we have, we have a login, 
cool, nice. Uh, with some session, we have token with the some session. Uh, five hours, we have registered endpoint. So very cool, very nice. We can create new user with first name, last name, email, and password. And actually, one more tip: password is storing like a hash in database. And when you try to log in by this password, we are comparing your previous one with hashes. Uh, and if the hash is equal to your like uh, current password that is hashed too, so then you are logged in. So it's like additional security for your database table with users. Uh, this, that means that you are not storing passwords in a like uh, direct way. So it's hashed all the time. Okay, so it's roles folder, models folder, folder. Um, I mean, uh, the, so we have model, models folder for uh, our tables, uh, users too, okay, cool, nice. We have middle bars, uh, it is like uh, our middle bar for verification uh, uh, of the token. So we can check the, uh, in each endpoint, uh, for example, let's check products index so for creating new product in our like online shop we need to be registered so we have this middleware that's checking our token if this token is valid so only then we can uh, create our product so it's uh, folder with middlewares and authorization here and uh, only one folder that also is generated it is uh, helpers so i like this file because i am a lot uh, use it. Let's say is the why we have here a list of functions that every one of you guys need to use or like when you're let's say when you start working on a, some backend for sure you will have the some very f uh, um, you will develop some verify function if the string is empty is it this object is number to check uh, maybe to validate the email so all of those functions are already here and even if you're working on a big project and you need to count some uh, big numbers like it's cryptocurrency or, it's, or something else uh, for sure in javascript uh, you can do it but it will be wrong value in results so we have some functions even for such projects here so you can add uh, to very large numbers or uh, use other functions to uh, find the difference and etc. So a lot of we have here and we have uh, also example in v.file so let's change it a bit let's make it in v uh, so we have here a mod mod means that it can be development or production if you will leave here dev so it will uh, what it will do uh, if you see, uh, just look, uh, we have in each file this uh, kind of statements that if it's like process in v equal dev, then we have console logs. For sure, in all files we have the same. So it means if you will put here in in v uh, mo mod as a dev, so uh, you will receive all logs. Port, it's usual port. Uh, secret token, let's say that it is uh, so by this token uh, we will uh, hash all the passwords, let's say like secret token, <laughs> okay, secret, blah, 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 okay, done. And also we need to have database URL, okay, for database URL we will use this one, that, uh, for Mongoose I already create this database here for testing. So it, look, this database is empty. So let's do this next. We are putting it here, saving. Uh, okay, we are closing all the files. Uh, and let's test it. So new terminal, cd code. Okay, uh, npm run dev. Yeah, sure, uh, one more thing. We have the generated commands here, scripts. It is dev and prod. If you're running something in dev, you also is running it with the no daemon. So it means that you can debug all your code when you're developing it, or you can run it uh, without uh, no daemon, just in uh, live mode like prod. 
so it means that it is ready for production. Okay, let's test npm run dev and okay, we need to change the not version or no, we need to uh, make npm install first. Yeah. Okay, let's do npm install. Yeah, sure, not the NV we have already. So again, npm run dev. Cool, our server started. So now let's open the postman and try to test our backend. Uh, okay, HTTP, local host, solving, slash API, slash. Uh, so for creating any products, we need to have the user, okay? Okay, so let's create the user first. Okay, we have the road register, register, and this road should be post, okay, post should be post request, where we should put uh, the body, the body, okay, which body we should put to register person, Okay, it should be first name, last name, email, and password. Okay, let's do it. Let's create a new person here. Okay, it's like Daniel, uh, second name, second name, a uh, last name, okay. Last name, my last name. Okay, now we need to put also email uh, and password. Password. Okay, let's have the password like, uh, I don't know, from one to five and email abs, abs dot, dot gmail. Dot gmail. Okay, send post. Uh, localhost 3000 API register. Aha, uh -huh, okay, I need to, to, to add one more thing. We have here house uh, into the path, so it should be house. Now should be okay. Yes, yeah, sure. It is created and we get the token. We get this token, and with token, we can store it already on our UI part, and now we can do any request to our products. So first of all, let's create new product. Uh, for this, we need to put this token in as a beer token here. Uh, okay, uh, let's create a new product. So uh, we have products. Uh, this road is almost the same like this one, but here we have products. And we can put new product here. Uh, okay, let's check the product schema, models, products, we have title, sure, each product should have the title, <laughs> title, let's say, uh, Macbook, Macbook Pro, like this, okay, we have the price, price should be a number, Okay, the number, let's say 2000. Uh, description. Okay, it's not advertisement for a Mac, but perfect. Perfect. Image. Okay, let's check the image. Any image from the internet. For example, Mac image. Mac image. Mac book pro image here okay nice just copy paste the address put it here and send the token is required for authorization okay maybe i put it in the wrong way so no authorization here let's put it here and check in which header it should be so should be in x access token okay you can change it sure so send okay now our product is created 
so let's check now the list of products that is created so for getting a list of products we need to use this path yeah all all okay and we also need to have this token okay we also need to have this token because maybe it's admin panel and nobody else should not receive it so let's send request yeah and in the result we have this data object which is the array of our objects from the database we also can check our database for changing so let's check our database mm -hmm. okay the list retrieving so already we have users table which is created automatically we have products table uh, which is also created automatically look uh, title price description image so perfect okay but now i wanna uh, for example remove the uh, verification of my token for this endpoint to 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 uh, for getting uh, like all projects May maybe because it's like online uh, shop and not all people who is coming like first time to our page has this token because they are are uh, not registered yet so let's check it again yeah and we receive it too so looks perfect uh, this tool is saving a lot of time even for me i saving each week like for a few hours just because i don't need to generate or okay not to generate i don't need to copy paste those parts of code from my previous project and i don't need to uh, do it again from the scratch so i can just go to uh, code vacations website and in maybe okay one two seconds i can generate this file and upload it so it's super nice super easy and super useful so i hope guys it will help you uh, for into the developing of the backend of the api rest applications that you uh, have to to do and uh, why is this like code vacation just because you will get the vacations uh, you will save a lot of time you can say for example okay guys uh, my estimate for this task for this uh, like uh, functions for our database is kind of like one week but you will do it in two seconds and you will have one week for the rest so it's a good option to you so keep in mind and uh, test it i wish you a good day and see you bye